Hi there Packamang, this is Kevin Wright. In this quick video, roughly five minutes, I'm going to share, you, share with you three quick tips for your website that will increase the number of inquiries that you get from visitors actually coming to your website. Right, before we just get into it, just a quick background. The web, your website is pure, there for one reason only, and that is to get you more business. And the way that it can get you more business is for you to get more inquiries from the visitors who go there. Now, if that begs the question, how easy it is it for people who visit your website to contact you, to call you, to fill in a form, to ask a question, how easy it is, is it for them? Well, um, so let's get straight into the tips. Tip number one would be to have a call, well, each website must have between four to six calls to action on the front page. Calls to action. The first call to action, the first tip, is to have your telephone number here or under here, somewhere where it can be easily seen. Let me give you an example. Um, this company here, uh, Nimajari, they do a lot of advertising, so they would have already worked this out. And if you go to their website, you can see right up front, bigger than all the other text here, except for their logo, is a number to call. Now on top of this I would make this number clickable. In other words, when you are on a mo when someone's on a mobile, when they get up put their put their finger on this, it should be clickable. Let me give you an example. This site is not a very pretty site, but it gets me over 120 calls per month. This is at my dentist site and the dental practice is very happy. So here, a number, large, bold, easy to be seen, and if I put my cursor over it, you can see it's clickable, that hand come up. If you look down here, in the bottom left-hand corner, when I put my cursor over this, you'll see the number. That's the code to tell it to call. Um, in fact, I have that one, two, three, four four call to action there, all the way down there, to make sure people are always going to see that number and, pre and they can click it and they can call. Makes it easy for them if they want to call, not to just go off the site or try to look for a contact page, but to call. Okay, so that's the first tip. Put a number up here, clickable. And so that when they go to their uh, mobile phone, they put their finger on it and it calls your number and saves the number on their phone. Tip number two. Tip number two is about trust. And the first tip is to the bottom of this page, you've got these icons here. Um, maybe some people can actually recognize who they are from the logos, but m these words and letters cannot be read. And so it, it really gives an, mm, are they really trying to put these out and, and are they proud of these or not? Let me give an example again with Nimajari. They go down to the, if you go down to the bottom of their site, they are quite bold, quite uh, big and you can actually read what they are. This gives a little bit more trust. My second tip is to, or second half, the first half of the second tip is to put these uh, boldly larger so people can read them. Okay. The second half of that security tip, and it's more important actually, is to get this sign here that says not secure. Google have come out with a new uh, set of regulations for them um, saying that if you if a site does not have an SSL certificate your website designers will know what that is um, they are going to put a not secure sign here um, I've got I've changed mine already I can help your people to do that if you want to one of mine here you can see my limousine site again I get a lot of calls from this um, is this here it's HTTP S stands for secure security so I have my SSL certificate already. Um, I'm going to do the same for this site, which doesn't have one. I'm going to do that tonight, right now. I can help you guys get that SSL certificate if you want my, uh, some advice on that. That, because this can scare people away. This has only just started. This has been up for maybe two, three, maybe six months. Not long. Um, so get your SSL certificate. That's tip number two completed. Tip number three is to have a good looking small contact form here and not just you know what's the message 
Yes, you need their name, their telephone number, email address, but also not just say message, but say something like, and, and design the form nicely. There's ways of designing. I can help your team with that if you like, to make it attractive, to make it compelling to put down the, the, to put information there. But also, instead of putting just message, put, how can we help? And that is an encouraging, rather than just put message, what do I want to put there? Okay, how can we help? Is a good way. So those are the three tips. I hope this, hope this helps. I know this type of uh, um, the question really is how easy it is for people to contact you. And if a hundred people came to your website, how many of those who are really interested in freight forwarding questions or getting some help uh, would actually contact you? And it's quite difficult to do that with this site as it is right now. You need to put a number here, etc. So that's my tips. I hope this helps. Um, thanks very much. Uh, have a great day and God bless. Bye for now.